Hello. Um, I'd like to discuss something very simple, uh, an experimental method, very simple for maybe elementary school kids, method of determining pi. And it involves a circle inside a square. You can see on this piece of paper, we have a, a circle and we'll call the radius r. And the length of the side of the square is 2r. So the area of the square would be 2r, whole thing squared, with 4r squared. And the area of the circle would be pi r squared. And uh, presumably, if we cut these uh, two figures out, first the square and then the circle, the mass of the two would be proportional to their areas. So that's what I did. I, I took 10 of these, and I cut out the squares, and I weighed all 10 of them. And then I, I removed the, this part of the square to get 10 circles, and I, I weighed those. And uh, let's uh, analyze the, uh, the results on Excel. So these are my, my 10 circles. They were originally squares. I weighed them. I, I weighed for each one, I got the mass of the square and the mass of the circle. Very simple. Any elementary school kid could do it. Uh, so let's take a look at the Excel worksheet. OK, um, as I said before, <clears throat> we have a circle and a square. The area of the circle is pi r squared. The area of the square is 4 r squared because the, the length of the uh, side of the square is 2r. 2r times 2r is 4r squared. The ratio of the area of the circle to the square is equal to the mass of the circle divided by the mass of the square. We're going to cut out the 2 and uh, weigh them. And that's equal to pi r squared over 4r squared, which is pi over 4. Solving for pi, pi is equal to 4 times the mass of the circle divided by the mass of the square. OK, so here are the 10 masses of the circle. Here are the 10 masses of the square. And I'm going to calculate pi. It's equal to 4 times the mass of the circle divided by the mass of the square. And I'm going to do that for all 10. And you can see they're all um, what you would expect for pi. So let's do a little descriptive statistics on this. Um, so I'm going to go to data analysis, uh, descriptive statistics. This is an add-on, but you can do them individually. Okay, I have the range for everything. And okay, so let me bring this up. Uh, the mean is 3.1412, not bad. <coughs> um, Pi is 3.1416. I'm going to just uh, make this a little bit uh, fewer sig figs. And uh, the median is 3.1421, I guess. Uh, the 90% confidence limit uh, is 0 0.0076. And what that means, if you did this... Um, I did it 10 times. If I did it 10 times over and over and over again, 95% uh, of the times I should be within plus or minus 0.0076 of the mean that I have here. Okay. So uh, it's a, a cute little um, exercise to experimentally measure the <coughs> pi. All you need is a scissors and a um, something to make a circle. And uh, you do need a balance. I, I was able to use a balance to four places after the decimal. But uh, you could do it with a tenth. Um, you know, you won't get as many significant figures. But it's a nice uh, little exercise. You can illustrate what pi is. And uh, you can do some statistics as well. So uh, I thank you for your attention. And I'll see you next time.